Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower. We last left off, we were playing as Jennifer. Um, and I guess we don't have a lot to do at the moment, so it's time to go out and explore town. Now, previously we were controlling uh, Mr. Barton, who is, well, some kind of... Uh, psychologist I guess criminal psychologist that's uh, he seems a little bit suspect to be honest doesn't he yeah seems to be a little bit detached uh, very uh, little empathy you know a little bit full of himself seems to be a bit of a closet serial killer but hey I think we're getting ahead of ourselves anyway let's start having a little look around so I guess we've got the university staff housing got the university research building we have the municipal library we got the Norway uh, International Hotel and we have the Oslo weekly newspaper company well uh, I don't know let's go to the research uh, I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. Excellent. Okay. So, research building. I do like these pre-rendered stills as well. They're very cool. Very, um, 90s, should we say. But it works. Also, I'm not getting any audio here. Not to... Ah, there we go. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> it's so weird because the cutscenes are like literally part of the game. Uh, in engine, if you will. So it's hard to differentiate when you're in a cinematic. I say cinematic loosely, but you know what I mean. Or when you can actually uh, play. So let's just talk to Helen a few times. Oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? My hard drive crashed and I lost all of my data. Ugh. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Ellen. Yes, bloody Windows 95. Jesus, we remember that, don't we? Oof. Anyway, anyway. Let's check out the ooh, hotel, I suppose we'll go see the hotel. Uh, what's this one? Where's the library? Let's go to the library next. Research building. There we go. Metropolitan Library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head librarian. Hmm. Remember Mr. Sullivan? He's one of the people that could uh, research... The statue. But we're... I don't think we've passed it off to him. Hello, Jennifer. Did you come to check out a book? Look at his character model. Looks like a statue, man. Looks like one of them... Uh, fucking... I don't know. Just stone carving or something. Just looks odd. But in a charming way. Or something. Mr. Sullivan! You're as cute as ever. Ugh, how's Helen? She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. Oh, by the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? Uh-oh. It's quite a collection of archaeological value. Oh, no, no, thank you. It would take a long time. Yeah, goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Yeah, that'd be a little bit awkward. Well, drop in for a visit anytime. Oh, that's literally it. Okay. Yeah, uh, some old, fat, balding man calling a 15-year-old girl a little cutie is a little bit odd. Now I can understand a child calling a child cutie. I still think it's a little bit weird, but fine. But a 15-year-old, I don't know, man. That's a bit strange. Anywho, let's go to the hotel. Very strange. Oh, that's right. Edward's supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. Uh, a, a, uh, a boy boy, I guess. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird thing to say. Is this boy <laughs> Edward? 
<laughs> is this boy Edward? Well, I guess he is. Are you, by any chance, Jennifer? Yes. Yes, I am, Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the... Okay. Pictures in the paper. Oh, my name's Kay. Thank you, Kay. I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. The Granite Orphanage? Yes. But I began after you left. So, she's... Edward's visiting the same orphanage that uh, we uh, uh, attended, I guess. Is he? Yes, he is Edward. Say hello, Edward. Uh, hello. Hello, Edward. How do you do? Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you might jog his memory. Uh, I was hoping you'd be able to come visit Edward. Please. Yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you. See you again soon, Edward. Bye-bye. Yeah seeing you Edward I'm sure uh, so we've been to the hotel now let's go to uh, let's go to the staff housing huh? somebody's in front of the house oh that's 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 who Oh. Music. It's a bit creepy. Nolan. What are you doing here? In this 15 year old girl's bedroom. It's a bit strange. Oh look, there's a rabbit over there. That's kind of interesting. You're the reporter that came to the university. Yesterday, aren't you? Oh please, call me Nolan. I've been collecting information on the clock tower case for a long time now. Even though it's a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. Mm -hmm. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stranger danger. Hey, uh, what do you say about having dinner with me? Uh-oh. Don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Yeah, can... Oh, God. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Uh, well, uh, 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 uh... Right. That's it. Both. Yes, both. An interview and a date. All right, then. Tee-hee-hee. <laughs> Let's go. Right. May I remind you that Nolan is 26 and Jennifer is 16. Uh, that's a little bit fucking weird if you ask me, but sure, whatever. It's very late. I guess it is very late. Uh-oh. Somebody seems to be following me. Probably Nolan. Probably in the bushes behind us. A little bit weird. Did he not offer to at least walk her home? Take her home? That doesn't seem to be a wise maneuver either. Running into this very dark area. What's wrong? Uh, help! Someone is following me. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo. Oh fuck! <laughs> Oh, savage. Yep. I love how that just kind of happens. And one second, guys. I need to pause it because the missus just finished work. Okay, and we're back, guys. Right, let's run. Run like a bastard. Hopefully, we can hide in these toilets. 
We should be able to, even though these are the men's toilets. Shouldn't matter. Come on, Jennifer. Get a move on. This should work. Gotta wait until the music stops. Oh. Fuck. Uh, let's quickly grab that. There we go. And then give the cunt a good old smack across the head. Ooh, okay, that's him down and out for now. But he won't stay gone for a while. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go back to the hall. Um, now... Let's start exploring this place, shall we? Yeah, that's unusual. Like, he doesn't always... Ah, see, we could have knocked him out with that as well. We probably could have examined that too. Let's start with uh, these doors one at a time. Uh, so anyway, I was gone a little bit longer than I thought I would be. Because I actually... Oh, you little shit stain. We're getting seriously unlucky here. Mr. Scissorman seems to be right up Jennifer's ass all the way. Alright, well, let's give this dickhead a bit of a blast. Yeah, what do you think of that? Huh? <laughs> it makes him dance. <laughs> I don't know how that really works, but we're not going to question it for now. Alright, he should be gone. Now, um, this stuff is full of, yeah, what's this? You've discovered hint too. Excellent. We're going to keep the hint too, because, you know, it's a shame that you can't actually view the hints here. Now, in this room, it's empty. There's an item in this room. Some tools, but nothing seems useful. This might be useful. We Ah, we got the oil can. Right. That is a very useful item. Uh, without the oil can, we cannot get the best ending in the game. So, that's uh, pretty happy that we've got that. Okay. So... Let's get out of here. That's pretty much all there is to explore. Now, you don't want to loiter around too long, because if we do, uh, Mr. Scissorman will turn up. He's pretty tenacious like that. Um, I don't think there's any point in going into this room. Let's have a look. The room appears to be the laboratory, but the door is locked. Yeah, we can't go in there yet. I'm sure Helen's laboratory is on the second floor. <clears throat> yeah, so the game wants us to go there, but we can't really do that just yet. Because if memory serves, we need a key. Now, <clears throat> yeah, so I was actually gone away a little bit longer than I thought I would be. Oh, hey, friend. I thought you died. Now, the reason I was gone away for longer than I thought, let's check the phone out. Because I managed to get an Xbox. Ooh. Yeah, that scared me. That scared. That made me jump too. Uh, now, it's easy to think that that will bring Scissor Man. You know, you would think so, setting off the alarm. But it actually doesn't ever, as far as I'm aware, alert Scissor Man. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I've ever personally seen it happen. Yeah, so I managed to get an Xbox Series X in my cart. Uh, and as soon as I clicked by, it was gone on Microsoft's website. I got a stock alert app, and it's I'm trying to buy one for my missus' birthday. I've only been trying to get one now for a, about eight months. You know, not long. And, uh, yep, StockX uh, alerted me, came in, ordered it, added it to my cart, which took about five minutes of errors. Clicked buy, out of stock. So I guess there's another 7,000 of them on eBay. Right, anyway, let's go. I'm not bitter. Let's uh, check this dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's definitely dead. Jessica. Definitely uh, game over, man. Now the music starts grumbling. There's a key on the table. What is this? 
You have the ladder key. Yeah, we're going to need the ladder key to get out of here. So, we also have a chair here. I think we can use this chair to slap. Uh, I wonder what happened. The chair is knocked over. Yeah, we knocked it over, didn't we? A sofa, probably used for naps. Well, I thought sofas were generally used for sitting. But what do I know, I guess? Okay, actually, I think we can... No, we can't use the phone. I thought we could. Listen to how atmospheric that music is as well. It truly is pretty wonderful, actually. Uh, now... So, we've got the ladder key. We could go upstairs. Um... Uh oh. Yep, that is something that I do remember happening. Uh, this is awkward. Let's go in here and see if we can beat him over the head with the stool. Or the, yeah, the stool. Uh, oh, look, there we go. Come on, Jennifer. Get ready to smack him around the face. Yeah, he can be in there. Uh, I've never, I don't remember ever. Uh, that didn't work. Um, that, that did, uh, did not work. But that is fine. Uh oh, uh oh, come on Jennifer. Nope. <laughs> that went poorly. How have we got... Dead end. How have we... Triggered him so many times? This is rather unusual. Okay, so... That's interesting. I think we can hide behind this. Well, you know, maybe not. Can we now use that? No. Let's see if we can lure him over this way. And then quickly slide past. Come on, old man. Oh, you're too slow, dude. You're too slow. Oh, sucks to be you. Come on. In your own time. In your own time, Jennifer. It's not as if we've got places to go, people to see. Let's go hide in the shitter again. Uh, come on. Now let's go hide in the toilet. I think we can hide in the toilet as many times as we need. I don't know if this ever fails. And if he does manage to break in, we can always smack him over the head again. Uh, no. Okay, we've missed him for now. Good stuff. Let's go. Yeah, what a bastard. That's three times now, and we've barely started this this area. He's a bit of a knob. Okay. So can we go in s out here? Yeah, front entrance door is locked. That sucks. Okay. Let's go up the stairs. Stairs might be a little bit safer. So we've got ourselves a key, and we've got ourselves the oil can. Two items that we're probably going to need. Okay. Now we can go in there, but I don't think there's anything in there. We can check the ladies' toilets out. See if there's anything interesting in here. What's behind door number one? Everything seems normal. Okay, let's try door number two. We can see there's something in there. Oh dear. Yeah, that's actually pretty horrific. Ugh. 
And I, I always thought it was funny the way that Jennifer gurges her guts up in the corner there. You would have thought, you know, there's a sink there and there's the toilet there. But no, she's got to spew guts right in, in, in the corner there. So that's going to be lovely. Not only does the handyman have a corpse to sweep up tomorrow morning, he's also got a big pile of chunks too. Not very nice of you, is it, Jennifer? Okay, let's have a little look in here. See if there's anything for us to find. Uh, there are many files on cases of mental illness. All right, so is that what we're going for here? Mental illness? Danny's desks. There are several trading cards and small toys. Okay, seems to be a bit of a connoisseur from the sounds of things. Of nerd culture. Helen's desk is very neatly organized. There's a key. Ah, we now have the office key. Lovely. <clears throat> that will probably be useful. Right. Beth's desk. Stuffed animals and a spray can. A can of mace. Yeah, now sadly, Jennifer, not being the sharpest tool in the shed, we can't actually grab the can of mace. Domestics and international criminal records. Yeah, we can't grab that, sadly, but we can use it. This is Professor Barton's desk. There is a telephone. It's dead. Lovely. Sounds about right. Yeah, so if uh, Mr. Scissorman, good old Mr. Tickles, comes knocking, we can spray Mace in his face. It's open. I like that. Keys are automatically used. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so this place should be a little bit familiar to us. I've had it with laying on this bed. Yeah, spoken like a true professional. What else have we got? There are metal bottles of medicine. Mm. Now, notice the scissor replica is missing. A cheap table. Oh, come on. But then I suppose Barton doesn't seem to be the sort of person that would spend out on anything, you know, too lavish. At least not for work purposes, anyway. Seems like the sort that would probably happily partake in a, a bottle of decent uh, bourbon. But buying decent quality uh, furniture for his office? Nah, not so much. Okay. So, actually, I think... I think we do need to go up through this door, actually. I think I'm getting confused. I'm probably getting confused. Let's check them out anyway. I guess we might as well check everywhere out. Why not, right? I mean, death isn't like a huge thing in this game. We can, if I remember correctly, throw that. There are small shoe prints on it. Hmm. We can throw that at him as well, I think. There are academic journals on the shelf. These look really boring. Yeah, well, your life's pretty exciting at the moment. Being chased around here by a murderer. <clears throat> Doesn't get much more exciting than that, I suppose, Jennifer. Priorities, though. <laughs> Kids, I guess. Ooh, the fax tone rings. Remember those fax machines? Hmm. Let's wait for that to print out. Can we not move? Seems a bit weird. Hello, you have reached Helen. I'm at home right now. Oh, great. Please leave a message after the tone. Well, that's awkward. And this is very delayed, slow scrolling. Well, I guess we're not going to be leaving her any messages anytime soon. Uh, can we, like, come around here, please? Jennifer, is that okay? There are various documents on the desk. Yeah, I'm sure nothing of much use is on the desk. Nothing inside that would be useful. No, but we could probably hide. Let's see what the facts was, shall we? Get ready. I'm coming to get you. The writing is weak and unsteady. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll see who's going to get who. 
I mean, technically, you've already had us once. But. You know. Okay, well, that's about as much as we can get there. Yeah, he's already had us once. But then, in all fairness, we've had him, like, three times. So, you know. I think we're winning. Just slightly. So, we've done the toilet. We've seen our dead friend in there. Did we go in here? I can't remember now. We may have. Yeah, we've already been in here. We've been everywhere in here. Now, there is an Easter egg here, I think, where all of... Well, not an Easter egg, but a secret that can happen where all of the uh, monitors turn a strange colour. And there, uh, we've got a self-defence item there. Murray Kunis. No one seems to be here. The door is locked. Can we not use... Oh, it says that's an oil can, but it's actually seems to be a, a funnel but sure I guess more Kunis, no alright now can we go through here hmm okay emergency exit yeah right I actually like that bit of dialogue it feels pretty apt come on let's go there's something harrowing about the lack of audio Audio, I think, is handled really well in this game. Alright, well, let's keep going. Now, what's up here? Oh, shit, hang on. Yeah, we can exit if we go through there, but there's another floor to explore. Now, let's have a look. We've got male toilets up here. Let's see what we have. Right. Ah, yes. This, is, I believe, is the room where things go a little bit messed up. Now, I don't know how Scissor Man is controlled. There are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. Yeah, maybe. Doesn't look like it's being repaired. A personal computer. I might break it if I touch it. Oh, Jessica. Only if it's running Windows 95. Okay, well, we didn't trigger the Easter egg or the uh, different event that sometimes can happen, which is unfortunate. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the toilets. Let's check out this room. See if there's anything in here. Oh, door is locked. Can't go through the lab. That's unfortunate. I mean, we have what we need to escape. Oh, more rooms. Well, let's keep going. Men's lounge. Men have a separate lounge to the women. Seems odd, but okay. Ah. So, what do we have here? Some cosmetics. There's something written here. Yes, this is hint number three. We shall certainly take hint number three. Don't think there's anything else here. The surrounding campus is lit. The campus is cre creepy with everybody gone. Yeah, I can imagine. There's nobody walking around outside. Yeah, all right, let's get out of here. Hopefully we can. I think we've done everything. <clears throat> so all that's left... Oh. I guess we can't use that, can we? Nope. It's no use. It won't even budge. That's okay. Let's keep moving. My phone is going off as well. I'm wondering if that's my stock app. Uh, right, so we've got what we need to get out of here. It's a very short area, really. Like, if you know what you're doing in this game, you can really nip through. Now, my memory of this game is... Uh, passable, I guess. So let's use this key. From way up here, is it safe? Uh, well, you're just going to use the ladder. So, I mean, technically, I guess it's safe. Rope ladder. 
And we are out of that nightmare. Surely all says a man has to do is cut the rope and she'll fall to her death. But then he does seem to be rather incompetent. It's funny, I remember spending a long time running around that area, like genuinely having no idea what to do. But in hindsight, it's really quick and easy. I also love that jingle at the end, scenario one cleared. It sounds, I don't know, there's something deeply satisfying about it, almost relaxing, you know? It's a sound that could only really have come from the 90s, and it's fantastic. <clears throat> you know, this might look, look a bit weird, and it might not be high on many people's lists, but when I think of PlayStation, this is absolutely one of the games that I think of, and I think it, this game, uh, definitely so far, holds up wonderfully as a horror experience. Just from its, you know, its use of um, uh, audio alone, it's a, a good jump above most games. I, I, you know, and it's so frustrating. I don't know where the hell the second game fell so flat. I don't get it, man. This was such a, a good template, but there we go. Anyway, we're gonna save. when when it starts thinking about it and when we come back we're going to continue as our friend jennifer here struggling through this area oh i forgot about gots we're going to pause that there though because we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves yep really enjoying this really glad that i decided to come back to this i hope you guys are enjoying it thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time